In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT smart irrigation system using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, 15 km LoRa transceiver modules, Arduino Nano, and a capacity of soil moisture sensor V1.2. This area is around 6 km from my friend's house. Currently, in this area, no GPRS signals are received, and as per my friend's demand, he wants to monitor the soil moisture on his cell phone. There is no internet is available in this area, so we cannot use any internet supported devices like the Node MCU, ESP8266 or ESP32 modules on the transmitter side. So due to the 6 km long distance, we will have to use long range radio frequency modules. The PCB boards used in this project are sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the PCB boards used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. Thanks to the Reex technologies for making such an amazing long range 15 km transceiver modules. On the transmitter side, LoRa module is used with the Arduino Nano to send the sensors data to the receiver. On the receiver side, the LoRa module is connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. At this point, you can directly connect the Node MCU module with the laptop and monitor the data on the serial monitor, or you can design a cell phone application and monitor the data from anywhere around the world. For the demonstration purposes, I connected a variable resistor. I can monitor the values in real time. Notification messages are sent when the sensor value increases above or decreases below a certain predefined value. These values are sent from the transmitter side through a 15 km LoRa transceiver module. On the receiver side, another 15 km LoRa transceiver module is connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 module, which receives the data and then sends it to the Blink application. After performing all the basic tests, finally I soldered all the components on the Vero board and fixed the transmitter side in a waterproof plastic enclosure. The capacity of soil moisture sensor was working great. There was no disconnection and I was able to receive the moisture values in real time. The type of the capacity of soil moisture sensor I used was later damaged due to the exposed electronic components. That's why I ordered another capacity of soil moisture sensor which is completely waterproofed. I have been testing this IoT smart irrigation system and is working perfectly without any problem. The Rex LoRa module penout, technical specifications, basic programming, interfacing and ID commands are already explained in my previous tutorials. If you are using the Rex RYLR890 based LoRa module for the first time, then I highly recommend first watch my previous tutorials which covers the extreme basics and then you can resume from here. I will provide links in the description. In this tutorial we will cover number one transmitter and receiver circuit diagrams number two transmitter and receiver site programming and finally number three testing. Without any further delay let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon and Banggood. The components purchase links are given in the description. These are the long range wireless 915 MHz radio frequency LoRa transceiver modules by the Rex technology. As you can see this transceiver module has a total of 6 pins which are clearly labeled as a VDD. NRST which is the reset pin active low RXD. TXD pin number 5 is not used while pin number 6 is the ground. 
This is a soil moisture sensor which measures soil moisture levels by capacity of sensing rather than resistive sensing like other sensors on the market. This capacitive sensor by the DF robot is made of corrosion resistant material which gives it an excellent service life. The capacitive soil moisture sensor is used just like the resistive soil moisture simply insert it in the soil around your plants and make an amazing low-cost real-time soil moisture monitoring system. This module includes an onboard voltage regulator which gives it an operating voltage range of 3.3 to 5.5 volts. It is perfect for low voltage microcontrollers both 3.3 volts and 5 volts. As you know, Arduino Nano is based on the 5 volt controller while the LoRa transceiver module by the Rex technology can handle voltages from 2.8 to maximum 3.6 volts. The typical voltage is 3.3 volts as per the data sheet. From this information we know that this module cannot be directly interfaced with the Arduino for this we will need some kind of converter which can convert 5 volts into 3.3 volts but instead of using the converter we can use a simple voltage divider circuit as you can see 4.7k and 10k resistors are connected in series which gives me 3.4 volts which is perfect for the Rex LoRa transceiver module a wire from the middle of these resistors is connected with the RXD pin of the LoRa module the other leg of the 10k resistor is connected with the ground while the other leg of the 4.7K resistor is connected with the TX of the Arduino Nano. The RX pin of the Arduino Nano is connected with the TXT pin of the LoRa module. The ground of the LoRa module is connected with the ground of the Arduino Nano. If you want to use the Arduino Uno, you can still follow the same exact connections. The ground and VCC pins of the capacitive soil moisture sensor are connected with the ground and 5 volt pins of the Arduino Nano while the analog output pin of the capacitive soil moisture sensor is connected with the analog pin A1 of the Arduino Nano. Now let's have a look at the receiver circuit diagram. The IoT Smart Irrigation System receiver circuit is based on the Node MCU ESP8266 module and 15 km transceiver module by the Rex technology. So first let's start with the 5 volt regulator power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. The positive and ground pins of the DC female power jack are connected with the input and middle legs of the 7805 voltage regulator. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module while the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground pin of the node MCU module. The 15 km LoRa transceiver module interfacing with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module is very simple. While interfacing LoRa transceiver module with the Node MCU ESP8266, you don't need any voltage converter or a voltage divider. You can start by simply connecting the VDD and ground with the Node MCU module 3.3 volt and ground pins. While the TX pin of the LoRa module is connected with the RX pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 and the RX pin of the LoRa module is connected with the TX pin of the Node MCU module. So that's all about the transmitter and receiver circuit diagrams. For the easy interfacing, I designed PCB boards for the Rex LoRa module and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. These PCB boards are manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the blue and black solder mask looks amazing. I am 100% satisfied with their work. I completed the soldering very carefully 
and in the end I tested all the connections and luckily there were no short circuits. Finally I connected everything as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's make the playing application. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music. The IoT Smart Irrigation System project is based on two programs. One program is written for the transmitter side while the other program is written for the receiver side. Let's first start with the transmitter side programming. I started off by defining a pin for the capacitive soil moisture sensor. The analog output pin of the moisture sensor is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A1. I also defined a variable of the type integer for storing the moisture sensor value. Then I defined two variables data underscore length and sensor data of the type integers. Inside the white setup function I activated the serial communication and selected 11,500 as the bar rate and finally set the capacity of soil moisture sensor as the input using the pen mode function. Inside the while loop function we have only two user defined functions which are the multiple sensors and send underscore data functions. The multiple sensors function is used to read the capacity of soil moisture sensor and to make a complete string message using percent sign as the delimiter and to find the data length. While the send underscore data function is used to send the complete message consisting of the data length and the sensor value. So that's all about the transmitter programming. Now let's have a look at the receiver programming. On the receiver side before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This is the authentication code which was sent while making the Blink application. I simply copied and pasted over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. I defined a timer, some variables of the type string, corrector and integer. I also defined a pin for the relay and a flag to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. As usual inside the white stuff function, I activated the serial communication, set the relay as the output. Blink.begin function takes three arguments as the input, the authorization code, the SSID and the password. Sensor value 1 and receive data are two user defined functions which are executed after every one second. Inside the while loop function we have only two functions which are the blink.run and timer.run functions. Receive data function is a user defined function it has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. The purpose of this function is to check if the Arduino has received any data from the LoRa module. Split the entire string message. The different parameters are stored in different variables. 
Finally, the capacity of soil moisture sensor value is stored in a variable Q, which is of the type string, which is then converted into integer. The following conditions check the sensor value received from the transmitter and turn on and turn off the relay connected with the zero pin of the node MCU module. Currently, I'm using 20 and 30 as the predefined values. You can change these values as per your requirement. The purpose of the relay if is to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. Sensor value 1 is also a user-defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. The purpose of this function is to send the capacity of soil moisture sensor value to the Blink application gate widget. These two conditions are used to send the notification messages as the soil moisture decreases or increases above the predefined values. Finally, the get value function is used to split the string message using any character as the delimiter. So that's all about the programming. The circuit diagrams, programs and libraries can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.